Hey, what's up, guys? Raj Angad Singh here, and I welcome you all in today's very new, cool, exciting tutorial. So this time we will make a real car from a toy car. So first, while shooting your video, grab a toy car and make it fall on the exact same position, on the exact same perspective as your real car is. Also shoot a clean plate. So here we are in After Effects and this is our clean plate here. There is no car here. So let's bring our main layer here now. So this is my main layer and we just don't need the real car here. And let's grab the pen tool and let's mask out this car, this original car. Now first we turn to subtract and add some feather to around 4 or 5. Now we also need to get rid of the frames where our toy car is falling down. So we'll add keyframe on mask path and let's delete the frames in which the car is falling. And let's also reveal the original car now. So right now it's looking like this. So as you can see our toy car is not visible in these frames where we have this mask, where we have this mask. So let's duplicate our main layer and rename it to car roto. Delete the mask and we just need this for these few frames. So let's trim it also. Okay, so we'll double click on it, grab this roto brush tool and make a mask on this toy car. Now we'll turn the feather to 20 and reduce stutter to 80%. Back in the main comp, grab the selection tool. And right now it's looking like this. You can see there are few frames between the car revealing and our toy car. So we need to fill up those frames. So for that we'll duplicate the main layer, rename it to car mask. And grab the pen tool and make a mask around the car. So this mask should be perfect. And now we'll right click and time choose freeze frame. So we need this layer for a few frames like 3 or 4 frames. So let's trim it also. Also we'll take it, take this layer to the top. Now using this pan behind tool, let's bring the anchor point of this layer to the left bottom corner. Nice. Now open its scale, position, rotation properties, add keyframes and take these three keyframes on the last frame of this layer and here we will rotate the car. Yes, like this. Now after two frames, let's turn the rotation back to zero. And after two frames, let's rotate it some more. This will give a bouncy look to the car. So right now it's looking like this. So we need to refine this animation a bit. And for that we'll go to effect, blur and sharpen and choose directional blur change the direction to 90% and change the blur length to 10. Add keyframe on blur length 
and after three frames let's turn the let's turn down the blur length to one nice now let's hit t to animate the transparency add keyframe and animate it now we'll hit s for scale animation and let's turn the scale up a bit and position it and we are done so that's all for now guys i hope you guys have learned and enjoyed this cool technique of turning the toy car into the real car and still if you have any questions or suggestions just write them below in the comment section and until next time take care